Hey everybody, welcome back to Bay Singers Disc Golf Channel. Josh here of BDGC and Team RPM Discs, and this is a deep dive disc breakdown. All right, everybody, I'm back with another deep dive disc breakdown, this time for the RPM Discs brand new putter called the Takapu. The Takapu is the 11th disc in the RPM Discs lineup and the third putter from the brand. The Takapu was PDGA approved on May 9th, 2022 with the model number PA3. Following its PDGA approval in May, the Takapu has since been released as an RPM putter that lots of RPM fans have been waiting for. Following the shallow beaded Tui and the deep rim Guru, the Takapu is the first putter in the RPM discs lineup without a bead. This fairly deep rimmed beadless putter comes in with the flight numbers of 2302 and is currently available in all of RPM discs plastic. From their premium atomic, cosmic, and glow plastic to their baseline strata, as well as the magma and the soft, medium, and hard blends. As for the design of the Takapu, as you can see, this putter has a much more familiar feel in the hand as compared to their previous putter efforts in the two. When it comes to the feel on the hand, the closest comparison I can make to the Takapu would probably be the Discmania Rainmaker. So as you can see, it's a very similar design to the P2, but it's not quite as deep dish. I've been telling people it's a design of a P2 with the shallowness of a P1. So the closest comparison I can make would be the Rainmaker. As I'm filming this video, the Takapu currently only has one rating on Infinite Discs, but it is a 5 out of 5 stars from my RPM teammate and viewer of the channel, Michael Blair. Michael leaves some great information on that review, so make sure you go read that and check out his thoughts. And I will also be putting up some screenshots of comments from other players who have thrown the Takapu. For my arm speed, I can throw the Takapu on a tiny bit of hyzer and get it to flip up to flat. Maybe a little bit of turnover, but it's definitely going to get that consistent fade at the end. If I throw the Takapu on an Anheuser, it will hold that line for the majority of the flight, but then it will pan out to flat and maybe just a little bit of angle on the very end of the flight. When I throw the Takapu soft with a little bit of hyzer angle, this putter is perfect to get up and get down, hook around something and sit right by the basket. This fairly overstable putter is the perfect combo understable TUI and the straight root root from RPM discs. As for the stamp on the disc, as you can see, it is a beautiful bird and not just any bird, it is a gannet. There are two species of gannets that frequent New Zealand where RPM discs are made. That is the Australasian gannet and the Cape gannet, the latter of which is unfortunately endangered. Gannets are large seabirds that can have a wingspan of up to two meters. That's eight and a half feet. They can dive from up to 100 feet in the air, achieving speeds of 60 miles an hour. In an attempt to catch fish in the sea, gannets can reach depths of 21 meters or 72 feet. That means you should be able to make a putt from 72 feet. There are only three species of gannets on the entire planet, so I'm really pumped to see a gannet or Takapu make it to an RPM disc stand. That is it for the deep dive disc breakdown on the brand new RPM Discs Takapu. If you yourself have thrown the Takapu, please leave a comment below and let other viewers of this video know what you think of this disc. Thanks for watching and please consider watching more of my RPM Discs deep dive disc breakdowns. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf 